Greetings, Petrolheads. My name is the Tom. You're on my gaming channel, and it's time for another episode of Automation, the Car Company Tycoon game. Now I know I announced something very special for this episode to happen, and I didn't break that promise. Let's just um, keep it as is. Well, um, you know. Yeah, you can probably tell for yourself where this is going with this in here. Yep, that's a Ferrari F40 body shell, and that's what I'm gonna do today. So uh, first of all, let's get let's get into the aesthetics a little bit. No, wait, um, we have to. Yeah, I mean we we have to change the basic. A silhouette maybe um, actually it's pretty damn close as is I mean that's what this this body shell is modeled on so you would expect it to be relatively close you can even see this part right here <laughs> that's that's awesome that whoever created this actually even did that so you can fit you know those uh, air outlets on on this little part here and we also have an f40 style wing in the game now because it, it was also added with with the open beta and yeah let's just go ahead and say that this chassis is carbon fiber the engine is longitudinally yeah longitudinally i thought so and then double wishbone front and rear and excuse me this car has carbon fiber panels when can we have carbon fiber then in 1990 it doesn't truthfully matter because the f40 was produced until 1992 so let's just pretend that this is a 1990 model which is completely the same in every other aspect to the um, to the 1987 model. Actually, we might wanna lower the nose a little bit, maybe. Hmm. Yeah. Just a little bit, and then. Now that we're here, we're gonna go and put on some... Wait a minute. What about these? Mm, yeah, they might work actually. You can... Oh, okay, thank god. What if you... Yeah! That's what I like. That's how I like it here. And it does have the indicators in here as well. And a set of. Excuse me? A set of these headlamps as well. Like that goes right there. And then the indicator is right next to it. There. Oh my god, this actually worked. <laughs> and then, of course, we don't have pop up headlights available yet because those mods aren't in the workshop yet but well so be it wait a minute is this not is this not different from ah okay
Excuse me. Now, this is the. This is what I think. Which oh uh, no wait, we can. Well, we might as well use. <coughs> Excuse me again. Damn. Uh, we might as well use some of these, maybe even. Yeah, that actually looks closer than what I intended to use. So, of course, we want some sort of Ferrari patch on there, and since we don't have the original Ferrari patch in the game, we... Excuse me? Why can I not put those indicators up here? Ah, uh, damn. None of these is actually... Yeah, we're gonna have to give it a regular patch. Which makes me a little bit sad, but shit happens. Now the lip up front. And then... A pretty simplistic grill down here. And it is going to be a little bit bigger than that, like so. And then we have... Actually, this goes a little bit further, more like so. And then we have a couple of these vents turned upside down of about this size. And there we go, look at it. Wait a minute, just click these ones, they'll fix themselves. Alrighty. Now on the, on the side we have plenty of stuff going on. If you'd excuse me for a second. Alrighty, I'm back. So, uh, can we actually. Can we put this on here? Ah, oh, look at that. It does cause some weird stuff with the, the body in general, but. You have to be very careful with your placement here. Don't mess it up. Okay, I think I'm content with this right now, even though I know it goes a little bit further down, but... Eh, you know, we might as well try. Yeah, there we go. Nice! Okay. And then, obviously, we have a couple of these guys. Oh, wait. Yeah, obviously. We, we need to go back to the front. We have one that is pretty large. And is placed about here somewhere. And then we have one more that go... Excuse me. Yeah, that's what I kind of dislike about the open beta as is right now. You can't put multiple of the same fixture down in a row without accepting them. You always have to click accept before you can select another one of the same fixture. 
I mean, you get used to it, but it's kind of annoying if you're used to it being different. So, then we have this, and obviously... We can't leave the front without these on here somewhere. Um, where exactly? I think more like here. And then... A little bit bigger, like so. And there it goes. Now, do we have anything else on the side? Yes, we do. I something I just can't identify yet is right here. It's I'm gonna make it with a white indicator. It is. Oh, it's a it's it's a. Pin in Farina saying, I think. So let us actually put down some chrome here. Right there. Just imagine it says Pin in Farina on there. And then we have some vents on the side of this bottle panel right here. Uh, how many do we have? One, two, three, four, if I count correctly. And... Are they at an angle? No, they're pretty much straight. Just making sure the placement is accurate. No, they go further down. And they're longer. Like this, and then... Yeah, okay. Accept that, and then put some more down. Because we want that. a little bit shorter and then one more Okay, I think I'm happy with this. Obviously, we're gonna add a wing in just a second, but first of all, we're gonna take care of the rear end. Well, not first of all, we've already done a part of this. Um, so what we're going to do is we're gonna stretch one of these grills pretty much the whole upper part of the of the rear end here and leave about this much space so you know you can imagine the Ferrari saying in the center right here and then we put some taillights in here sadly there's none of these with you know orange on the outside so we we're gonna have to make those ourselves which is not a big problem at all just making sure they're adequately sized they're actually smaller oh 
or, or actually wait this is a little bit further up here and a little bit bigger okay and now we put in the tail lights so a little bit of space to all sides and they're about this big And no, yeah, you see, that's that's the problem, or not the problem, but you know, the annoying part. Now, the big question is how big is this white one relative to the orange one? Yeah, pretty much. I pretty much got it right at the first try. Maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit more. Yeah, and then a red. No, come on. Then a red one right next to it. Yeah, there is that. Then there is a normal plate right there. Which is actually taller. Might also be a little bit shorter. Then there's the Ferrari thing right here. And then we have a little bit of a problem. Because um, on the real car you have like the exhausts. Right. Here. And then you have this like these like cutouts from in the bumper to make it you know more aerodynamic and whatnot I can't do that in this game I can't even make it look like it yeah no it's just it's not possible I'm sorry that is that, that sucks a little bit but I think there are bigger problems than that in the world for example, that this car still needs a wing. And there we have it, basically. This should already be included in your game if you are using the open beta. So you don't have to go to the workshop and download it somewhere. Let's actually adjust this placement a little bit so it doesn't... Yeah, so it flows more with the bodywork. Good. Good, good. Now that is the aesthetic part of the F40. I'm actually gonna... We're not gonna make it blue. We're gonna make it red. Like this. It is obviously rear wheel drive. And then we get to the engine. It's a flat plane V8. Made from aluminium. We want 82 millimeters of bore. Gorgeous. And 69.5 millimeters of stroke. We get dual overhead cams with four volts per cylinder? Yeah, four volts per cylinder. And an aluminium head. 
Now the internals I don't know. But they're very expensive, presumably. Lightweight forged because we want to wrap this thing out to 7,500 RPM. Which is definitely nothing to sneeze at in 1990. Especially for a turbocharged engine. And we're gonna set the cam profile to like 90. Because, well, it's, it's gonna be really aggressive. And the compression needs to be very low. Like, very low. 7, 6.97, something like that. It is turbocharged. With... Is it... Yeah, I think it's air to air. In the cooler. And what kind of boost pressure are we running? It is... Actually, the compression ratio is 7.7 .7 to 1. So the... So the boost pressure can be, you know, ridiculous. It's probably around... It's probably more than that, but I'm gonna set it to 1.0 for now. With a smaller turbo, so we so it can actually spool up before hitting the rev limiter. The turbine is gonna be smaller, more like so, and then a bigger compressor. Oh, maybe not. It is single point EFI, which thankfully we have available in 1990. Uh, and yeah, let's just be honest, a race intake, because this is a race-derived engine. It's nothing less than that. The fuel it uses is... Well, actually, it's, it's most likely going to be super unleaded, let's be honest. And the fuel mixture is going to be really rich. And the rev limit is 7,500. Set this timing to around 70. And then we have dual exhaust and we want 478 horsepower. So this is going to be it. Uh, only one muffler. 356 horsepower, way off. Oh yeah, we can definitely increase the boost pressure. And we're gonna also we have valve float, okay. Yeah, so we're gonna What if we change this to water to air? Gives us a few more horsepower but also more octane to play with. I think it's gonna be one point three bars. And then we just go mad on the AR ratio, because that's going to give us a lot of power. You see, just changing that gave us, like, how much are, how much are we making now? Can't read it. 448? As opposed to 356? Four seventy. How much? Four seventy three. How much torque do we need? Five hundred and seventy seven newton meters at four thousand RPM. So that means we need our turbo to kick in earlier and harder. Four thirty four horsepower. Let's just go let's just go nuts and give it a hundred cam profile. That didn't help though. Four twenty eight. Yeah, let us increase the ignition timing some more. And 
into fuel mixture. Well, you can safely assume that this this car has some quality on the engine department. Probably plus five or so, and some of the head, some in the head department as well. And pretty safely to assume, you can assume that it has some in the turbo department as well because it's an it's a freaking F40. It's it's an expensive car. It's an iconic car. And the engineers really, really wanted that car to be good. And therefore, you know, put some extra quality in it. Um, how can I make this car produce the torque earlier? Maybe decreasing the compressor size? That's gonna also lose us power. Yeah, but adding more turbine will increase the torque significantly. Yeah, now we're we're making this at 7000 RPM, which is fine. And We yeah, that just lost us so much power. Four seventy nine. You know what? I'm gonna leave it here. I know this is not an accurate build of the F four D engine. The torque should come in here, and the peak power should be at seven thousand dead as opposed to seven thousand five hundred. And we should be making more torque, but I don't want to fiddle with one engine for 50 minutes or so. And therefore we're just going to go to the trim here. Give this guy a... Unfortunately only 5-speed manual gearbox. Or is it only a 5-speed to begin with? Might be. The top speed is obviously higher than suggested right here. As this was the fastest car in the world. And... It will do 0 to 100 kilometers an hour in 3.7 seconds. Which leads me to assume that it has some sort of differential. Probably a gear diff. What kind of wheels does it come on? It comes on... ...17 inch and 235 front. And 335's rear. Can you even... Yeah, I forgot to flare the wheel arches. So now we're gonna have some trouble putting down that power. But, it should be fine. So obviously sports tires, alloy wheels, it's got 120 liters of fuel tank capacity, <laughs> that's, that's ridiculous but you're gonna need it. It has vented discs with I think 4 pistons up front and then probably 2 pistons on the rear. We might wanna make those more aggressive pad types that is and fully clad under tray with not really that much downforce I can I'm gonna change that a little bit later plenty of cooling a little bit of brake airflow and yeah it's safe to assume that it has some advanced aerodynamics as well so I put some quality in there Two seats, absolutely no interior whatsoever. So I'm gonna go for basic. It's not even a sports interior. No entertainment. And I think no driver aid. 
Does it have traction control? I don't think so. Power steering, probably. ABS. Does it have ABS? I mean, it would be very beneficial for performance reasons. But then again, this is, you know, a very basic car when it comes to equipment and whatnot. And uh, let's go for standard safety. Probably progressive springs, adaptive adaptive tempers, passive sway bars, a sport suspension setup, and yeah. Now we're too light. Maybe it does have some advanced safety even. It would make sense in a car like this. Because, you know, you're gonna need it. We have put in a sports interior. It's still too light. needs to weigh 1100 kilograms um, yeah I don't think we want to make this cast iron now or is it It might even be cast iron. In fact, I think it actually is. Alrighty, then we we need to add a little bit more weight. I don't know how yet. Oh, this is still not fast enough. It's only gonna reach 308. Oh, we were making too much power now? Okay. That's too little. Yeah, there we go. Okay. And so, yeah, drivability is 21.9, pretty much what I expected, to be honest. Because an F40 is, is a car that not everyone can drive. That is pretty well known, I think. And... Let's see... It is over... I don't think it is in real life. I mean, obviously, oversteer is always just one little press of the throttle away. Come on. Oh, yeah. There we go. What if he... Yeah, okay. I like this better. Also game does some drivability just by virtue of the fact that it's no longer oversteering, like naturally oversteering. Uh, 3.5 seconds from 0 to 100 that is faster than a real car, which does it in 3.7. Let's actually give it a little shot. I think we need to make the lower gears longer. Yeah, 81 gearing is definitely too short. 
and this will also give us the quote unquote desired 3.7 second 0 to 100 kilometers an hour time. What about now? Okay, we definitely do not need this much downforce on the rear end, so we're gonna decrease it quite a bit. Find like 15, 16. Does this affect our top speed? Of course it does. But not that badly. Okay, 315, uh, we can go lower on this, 316, 317.8, 319.8, 320.8, 322.23, 324, okay, nice. You can also see the weight distribution is pretty ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> this... I love this. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button, it helps out a great deal. Subscribe if you want to see more in the future, but for now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.